This is the Evil Never Dies podcast midweek show. Keep it evil, everyone. The Evil Never Dies podcast. Hello, Evil Ones. Welcome back to another midweek edition of the Evil Never Dies podcast. I'm Brett, and I uh, hope everybody's doing good so far this week. Uh, going to jump right into this one here. This week I'm going to be discussing the band Exodus and their sixth studio album, Tempo of the Damned. Okay, first off, I'm going to go over the uh, band lineup here. We got Steve Zetro Souza on vocals, Gary Holt, guitars, Rick Hunnell, guitars, Jack Gibson on bass, and Tom Hunting on drums. It was released February 2nd, 2004, and it's sort of ironic. It was released two day or two years to the day after the death of uh, former vocalist Paul Bailoff. Uh, it was recorded at Tsunami Recordings, Moss Beach, California. Uh, the drum tracks were recorded at Prairie Sun Studio in Katati, California. Genre is thrash metal. Length is 54 minutes and 21 seconds. Uh, labels are Nuclear Blast, King Records in Japan, and Dream On Music in Korea. It was produced by Andy Sneep, and he also engineered and mixed the album at Backstage Studio in Derby, UK. And you pretty sure you've heard me talk about Andy Sneep before. He's worked with lots of great bands. Uh, actually was touring guitarist with Judas Priest also. So Now, Temple of the Damned, it was uh, the band's first full-length album of new material since 1992's Force of Habit. Uh, this was also the first studio album to feature Jack Gibson on bass, and it also brought back Steve Souza to the band, after uh, Exodus reunited with uh, Paul Bailoff, their original singer, for the release of a live album, Another Lesson in Violence, in 1997. But then Bailoff died of a stroke in 2002, and they brought Sousa back in as vocalist again. But <laughs> that wouldn't last very long. Because uh, Sousa decided to abandon the band right in the middle of their South American tour for supporting the album. And uh, that pissed Gary Holt off tremendously. And they wouldn't talk for a very long time over that. Uh, and also it was the last Exodus album to feature longtime guitarist Rick Hunnell. Uh, although they brought him back in 2012 uh, for their European tour because Gary Holt had joined Slayer. And he even made a guest appearance on their 11th studio album in 2021, Persona Non Grata. And this was also the last album to feature drummer... T Tom Hunting, I guess this was the second time he left the band, but he would later rejoin in 2007. And Sousa would rejoin Exodus uh, after his replacement, Rob Dukes, was fired from the band in 2014. And then they went on to make uh, Blood In, Blood Out. All right, let's go over the track list here. Track one, 
Scar Spangled Banner. Uh, track 2, War is My Shepherd. Track 3, Blacklist. And that's probably my favorite song on the album. Uh, track 4, we got Shroud of Urine. Track 5, Forward March. Track 6, Culling the Herd. Track 8, Throwing Down. And track nine, Impaler, and original guitarist Kirk Hammett was actually credited on this album, uh, even though he did take one of the riffs and used it in a Metallica song. <laughs> and that song being Trapped Under Ice off the Ride the Lightning album. And then we got track ten, the title track of the album, Tempo of the Damned. And they also released this on Digipack, and they did a really cool cover of uh, ACDC's Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. And then they had a Japanese and Korean release with bonus tracks uh, of demos of Shroud of Urine, Temple of the Damned, and the Dirty Deeds Done Cheap cover. Okay, let's go over the tour a little bit here. Uh, they started off in the end of April of 2004 through about the middle of May. They did like a short uh, U.S. club dates, more or less. They played a lot of clubs. And then they moved over to uh, Europe in June and did the uh, festival circuit over there. Ended up finishing over there at the Grass Pop Festival. And then in October, they got on tour with uh, Megadeth and ended out the year with that. So, and I believe that was the System Has Failed tour for Megadeth. All right, well, that's about all the info I got on this album. Uh, how am I going to rate this? Uh, this is the first time I listened to this album all the way through in probably a couple of years. Uh, still holds up for sure. It's uh, like they didn't miss a beat in 10 years or however long they were off <laughs> on hiatus. Uh, Sousa's, Sousa's vocals, man, are awesome on this. Uh, I love his voice. He's got that rolling growl to his voice. Uh, Gary Holt's guitar work is phenomenal on this, and it's very well produced. Andy Sneap never does a bad job on anything he does. Uh, it's probably why they've kept him around ever since then, in one fashion or another. So, uh, I highly recommend this album for sure. Uh, and I am going to give it a three and a half devil horns. How's that sound? There's a couple of songs on here that I think could have probably been a little harder, but all good songs. So, all right, everybody, that's it for Exodus. And their album, Tempo of the Damned. Uh, check us out Sunday. I think since it's Friday the 13th weekend, we are going to do a Friday the 13th movie. I think we're doing Jason Takes Manhattan. That's one we decided on. So stay tuned for that. Check us out on all the social medias. Join the Evil Ones group. Uh, hit and like that subscribe button on the YouTube. Uh, I think we're up to like 230 subscribers now. Uh, really appreciate that. So, all right, everybody. Thanks again for joining me for this midweek episode. And stay evil, everybody.
We'll be right back. 